temperatures back in the 90s, mid 90s earlier today, low 90s now. The heat is on as we head toward the weekend. I'm tracking when we'll see our first triple digit day. This is ABC 15 News. He must have tried to put his feet in the water and slipped in. Tonight, a warning from a dad who knows all too well of the dangerous waterways, some of them in our own backyards. In one year, there have been four drownings in canals in Maricopa County. Thank you for choosing us. I'm Steve Irvin. And I'm Stephanie Hockridge. Uh, one of those drownings, a six-year-old named Brennan. ABC 15's Hatzel Bella joining us now. And Hatzel, you talked with Brennan's father. What does he have to tell other parents? Well, Stephanie, his message is pretty clear. Teach your kids to stay away from canals. These signs like this one right here, try to teach and try to keep folks away. But as you know, canals can be deceiving. And I'll show you why. Look at the water and look how fast it's moving. This could be overwhelming, can overpower kids and adults alike. It was tragic. Tough for any dad to be back at the spot the place where his little boy died. The Gilbert home where they live just steps away from a canal. It was a rainy afternoon. His two boys were out biking. They were nowhere to be found. Started looking for him, started looking for him. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So he calls 911 and then thinks of the canal. But it was too late. One of his boys, six-year-old Brennan, was underwater. His shoes found on the side of the canal. To see the bikes, to see the, to see the shoes, and to see the boys you know, being pulled out of the canal, it was something I'll never forget. Tough for firefighters who constantly remind people of the dangers of canals. What looks like a nice body of water has a very strong undercurrent, could have a very strong top current. And in addition to fast moving waters, the sites can be coated with moss, making it slippery and tough to get out. It's simple. Canal waters should be off limits. The combination of those is, is a recipe for disaster. This father working to have legislation in place that sets safety standards for home builders who want to build neighborhoods near canals. Brennan's death has inspired Sam Otsby to spread the word. She's a neighbor of Thompson who admits it wasn't until the little boy's drowning that she spoke to her kids about canal dangers. If parents start having that conversation, we can prevent something like this from happening. Another thing to notice is how slippery the sides of canals is because of the rocky sides. One thing that you have to remember is, again, to teach your kids not to even get near it so that you don't run into those same situations. Yeah, Stephanie? they can be so unpredictable. Heartbreaking story, but really wonderful that this father was able to come out, talk about what happened to his son, and then also warn other parents about these dangers. Hatzel, thank you.